I'm Evil Tess and welcome to my playthrough of Starfield. If you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, welcome back. In Starfield here. You know, we've had a couple bugs. Typical of these kinds of games. I mean, you know, they basically said this is bug free and we've done extensive testing. But we've had a few bugs. A few crashes. I don't think I've got anything to sell. Yep, nothing to sell. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of neon's energy. Okay, let's see what's down here. Water graphics look decent. I don't think there's any water gameplay in this game. I guess Aurora is it's demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. You know about the chef right. school? Hysterical old exactly where I saw myself. Wait, what? Look to who? The rules are there for a reason. Follow them and we won't have a problem. Okay, they just disappeared, whatever. We'll stick to this mission, and then we'll switch it up once we've completed it. That looks cool, dragon. What do they sell here? Welcome to Newell's. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Hey. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Sieghart himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Um... By standing up for the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Oh, stop talking and tell us what you got. I know if we can make a deal. Hey. Med packs are what I wanted. How many med packs do I have? 
18. You know what? I'm good. Tell everyone you know about our store. Actually, we have a moment. what guns did he have? Sure. Have a look. Didn't have any guns. He has spacesuit. Any good apparel? Five percent persuasion chance. Nah, not worth it. Now, what's the point in these books? I don't really clean them too much. Watch your back out there. Hey, we're looking for our job. Yeah, I've heard some wild tales of this place. Not sure how much of those tales are true, though. You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So, if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Um... Of course, follow me. This current floor we're on is the main operations level. It's where the grunt work happens for this department. Research, data entry, more busy work than you can stand. Most of the people here are technicians that report to Yuko. Ugh. A handful of operatives I can feel the life and happiness draining from my body already. Anyway, well, it's over there that we gotta go. see you on your way out. Hey. A full spacesuit. Corporate environments aren't that toxic. Just waiting on you. All right. Just to get a few things straight here. I'm Imogen Salzo, senior operations specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart, Yuko, is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So, let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? Why not Ryujin? Best tech company in systems. An excellent question, but enthusiasm can only take you so far. We don't operate on passion alone here, we look for skill. Which brings me to my next question. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Anyone can do this job. A bold answer, and hopefully one with truth behind it. How motivated are you to succeed? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? The EO. Complexities of cybersecurity. In 
that case, you'd find yourself on one of the best teams in the settled systems. It's nice to see someone take an interest in the legal side of cybersecurity, but I hope you enjoy a challenge. The hackers these days keep our people busy round the clock. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period, of course. Read, pay us. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. One thing I did hear was this game was supposed to have voiceover sounds. Like um, your character was supposed to speak. And then they started it and they didn't really like the way it was, so I got the memo from Imogene to add you to the system. They didn't add it. So it sounds like congratulations are in order. You must have really nailed that interview. Oh yes, get used to seeing this handsome face every day. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to the dysfunctional family. All right, let's go get some coffee. And Barrett's following us around while we're doing our job. He's got nothing better to do with his life. He's that loaded up fast. I was trying to uh a little sip of my drink there. Everything so far away. Why couldn't a coffee shop be next door or something? Let's skip the line. Hi there. Welcome. Oh, the reunion order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired. Is what happened. And this is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Oh, angry. Oh, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind the desk, getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? Not my problem. Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Believe me, it's either you or me. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. Well, we can do an auto-persuade. You can't be that good. Not yet. Look, at some point, Ular really will send you after me. Hey, just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Hey, can we have our coffee now? Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. Yay, okay, talk to Imogen. Emmett Barrett scared the crap out of me. I was wondering who was running at me.
Need authority. Not really my cup of tea, as it were. Region apartments. Do we get a place here? You know, almost have enough money to actually buy my dream house. Might wait a little bit just so I have a little Stick to your business. extra. Getting drawn into a divergence here is more dangerous than you'd expect. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer, and the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations, you've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? That's I'm fast promotion. Surprised. I'll admit I am. Of course, we believe in risk versus reward here. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? The clothing looks really good. Like you can really see the fabric lines and such. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Hey, meet all these people. think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but terrible it is. Terrible would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass terrible within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Caldary, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Hey. <sighs> Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. We'll keep Likewise. it simple. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Yeah, that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. And these guys are so protective of their role and such. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. I'm over here. There we go. Quite the specimen I know. <laughs> Sounds like something my son would say. And no, I don't mean that as a compliment. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse.
Good. Then we should get along just fine. I want to mix up the uh, the questions or the answers to some of these questions just to see what kind of reaction we get. So, fetching coffee one minute and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Yeah. It's always nice to put names to faces. And we rarely see most of the operatives around here. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Um, yeah, whatever. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. I was definitely trying to keep my videos to like 30 minutes. But this game, it's it takes so long to actually get to the objective and such. About an hour is the average, I guess. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. Now I've been told how much work I could create for them if I'm not careful. Basic theme was don't get caught. I have a feeling I won't be getting along with most of them. It was nice to meet more people in the company. I'm glad you feel that way. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Kelcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Big mistake on their part. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. I'll probably ask more details, but um, I don't want to get caught up in the whole discussion thing. Even though I probably should. Anyway, let's uh, get going here. I wish I knew how to level up my stealth a bit more. I really want to play more stealthy but the game just doesn't feel like it's a stealth type game I mean a lot of the combat is just you get spotted before you even know that you're supposed to be in that location where are we going exactly Really? I'm still here. Alright, did we level up? We did level up. So, previously when we leveled up, I did put one more point into ballistics. Um, I think this is a good way to go. Our damage is definitely going to be ideal. There's nothing for defense. percent more oxygen nah this might be good we we'll go with that just because it's a passive we're always healing right so and we get more life for it life and damage seem to be the best route to go I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical not great Doc Manning better get his wow, these guys are straight opposite where we, the other building was. It's big, all right. Not sure what else. The Astro Lounge spared no expense with their marketing, huh? Keep it moving. Oaks and Neon have a rough time. They need to balance a potentially healthy trade with the interests of those who want to cross a line for incredible profit. 
difficult to say the least. We just walk into their offices. Or are we supposed to wait until later? If the gangs can keep from killing each other, I just might have a good I don't know, day. but I gotta get out of here. I'm glad Been I ended up at Field Court. Ms. McKenna treats her employees like... Local time is four. Oh. Can't talk. I've got a deadline coming up. One of those days, huh? More like one of those months. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to Terra Blue right now. James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. Oh my god. We are being detected. Let's see if we can wait a little bit longer. These guys work 24-7. Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to do this without getting caught? Alright, give me a sec here. So I'm gonna still try... Waiting a little bit. Not sure. I'm pretty sure I have to digi pick when no one's watching. Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Word is the Borealis, you know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. Are you supposed to be here? If you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to meet. Okay, we're hidden, and now we digi-picked. Upload. I know you can bypass this system security. Okay, so that's how you do the uh, stealth missions. You gotta wait till no one's looking. <laughs> we just walked into random offices from a different company. No one asked. And we just hack their system to upload a virus. Sweet. Like how Barrett doesn't question anything that we're doing. I'm getting vibes of Cyberpunk a little bit, but in all honesty, I think they did a better job with Cyberpunk. There just seems to be so much loading in this that it doesn't feel seamless. But it feels kind of like the same game. I 
in ways. If you don't know, I played Cyberpunk on my channel. When the game first came out, I played it. When it was riddled with bugs and such, and they fixed it all, but I didn't play it after that. I played the original version. And I got super strong in it. Awesome. Survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? I know it did, but that's your mission chief right there. Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. I get it. Clean work was maximum payout. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. Framing? One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and we'll be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp. So, at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. Damn, she could be a little bit more appreciative. And we're not even close to this place, are we? They're assuming we got a ship. Having a ship wasn't part of our job description. What you got, Barrett? Another sandwich? Hey, Captain. Need help with anything? Yes, right. Here, check this out. Hey, I really don't like what he's giving us. I wonder which companion is the best one to have along with you. I haven't really picked anything up. I don't think I got anything to sell. Yeah, nothing. Laredo firearms. There's stuff that we can steal in here. Might want to steer clear of the stretch. Lots of crime over there. So we had to clean up the graffiti on the range. Why don't we you just need all there? sorts of Aquila City? It's not like it's much use. Hey, there is a back door. Oh my god. Hey, if you're looking to browse, you're in the wrong spot. No, 
need this guy to leave. If you need help, Miss Lance is just downstairs. And this is nerve wracking. Why not? We're already hidden. You turn around, buddy. That's kind of cool, we can go out a different way. I mean, I guess I could probably have stealth killed him. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, while we were waiting for the offices to uh, hack the computer, a whole bunch of people kept talking to me and gave me other missions. <laughs> I don't know why, but got other missions for other companies now, I guess. Motivated. 
motivated by all sorts of things. Even things that aren't necessarily good for them. Otherwise, nobody would be on the yacht, I think. I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Wait. It's a decent start, but we'll see. Your next assignment is to find the security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Good luck. Go oh, pickpocket. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. Great, thanks. I don't know if I want to carry on with these anymore. I want to kind of... The main mission. Uh, level 30. Let's check it out. Why not? We haven't been to this town before. He just gave us uh, a mission. Exit the ship. Marvelous life on other planets truly is. Emmett Vasco. All right, so they did say to come see them, right? Go speak to him first. Maybe we get a, a security outfit from him. We try to stay out of the guest way, but we are always here if needed. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, 
it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever is on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. Ooh, we get paid for this. We're here to throw them under the bus and get paid. Oh. First things first. Quick save. Because it's been a while and uh, I don't want the game to crash and I have to do a whole bunch of different stuff. Might do a quick save when we get closer. about us buddy don't even think about trying anything <laughs> we had detected from so far away it's Yeah, we just gotta watch where he's going, cause... Maybe he'll go in a spot that's easier to pickpocket. I don't really know where to get the uniform from. I mean, the game isn't really Hitman. There are so many activities I'm looking forward to doing, but I'm just having I a good time relaxing. This, but don't fall for the six problem. Your safety is our number one priority. Okay, so he walks there and walks back. There is no way I can pickpocket this. Nice around here. But I think you call us one of the nicest. I think there's changing rooms or locker rooms or something. Hmm. All right, guys. As you can tell, we're back at Ryujin Industries. Um, apparently, this guy here will sell me a suit. Interested in your imps? Plenty of good stuff. Here, take that will look. make me look a little bit more the part. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I mean, you can buy any of these. I'm gonna buy the best one because it looks fancy. See you next time. Okay, now we are gonna put it on. Inventory, new items. Five percent persuasion chance is, is really nice as well. Okay, we wore a suit. Now we need to retrieve the security card. So we'll head back to the other planet again. All right, so apparently this town 
don't need your spacesuit. So, look all dashing and such. Hey there. Now let's do a quick save because I'm gonna persuade this guy. You don't look like you belong here. You need help with something? Sure, sure. Let me just get right on that. I'm not sure what kind of emergency would require me to hand over a security key card to a citizen. Yay, here we go. I thought I made myself clear. I'm not giving you my card. We got a narrow window here, okay? No, that's not gonna be it. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Here's the card. All right. Make sure you give it back when you're done. We did the auto persuade just because I need this. I'm gonna mess around with it. Return to Imogen at Raijin Tower. Oh, that was it. Okay, well, much easier than pickpocketing that. So that's uh, our inventory, base suits, put that back on. That back on that one. We'll keep the uh, the fancy suit on because rather dashing. I was wondering where you had to buy a suit from. I had to look it up. I think there was a guide on IGN or something. I don't know. Like, you'd never know unless you talk to every single NPC, right? Like, it's not like we could go to a store here and be like, oh yeah, we need a suit. I mean, how would you know this guy over here sells suits? Right here, look, this guy. Welcome back. Can I interest you in anything? Sometimes, you know, getting the uh, strategy guide for games like this are definitely beneficial. Kind of gives you a helping hand. Hey there, got that key card for me? I think of security the same way too, but don't let Dalton know I said that. Overall, not bad for a novice. Winning her over. Maybe you're ready to kick things up a notch. Winning her over, brother. Be better. Hey, we got med packs. Good. It's time for a change of pace. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astro Lounge here in Neon. So, I, I can't jump on stage and sing my heart out to ancient Earth music? Bummer. Okay. Okay. I'll be on my best behavior. See? Serious mode activated. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergies Executive Director Zola Adisa and their financial manager Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. Read the dossiers. Oh, I say all the right things. Got it. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity, 
not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Um... If it's not on her person, it will be in the suite she has reserved. Suites are patrolled, so she'll believe it's secure. If you can't manage to get her room key or deal with the door itself, try Boone Morgan, the manager. Boone appreciates credits, if you know what I mean. And give me some credits to give him. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally. I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astral Lounge distract you too much. Okay, we got a dossier. Got a fake key. It did business. So let's take this off. And change this to a suit. Empson. Equation chance. Nice. Oops. We're a lot lighter. Why can't we run faster? Anyway, let's have a look at these dossier. Oh god, I need to take a screenshot of this. There we go. And the other one. Screenshot of that one. Perfect. Hey, um, we'll check out their dossiers as we need to, I guess. I mean, I like more of the combat type missions, but. These ones seem so... What's the word? Um, text driven? The more RPG elements. At least we can breathe on this planet, which is a good thing. Yay, they're in two different places. Yay, Zola. Is that one of these? Yes, it was. Someone came dressed to impress. Probably should have saved. Here on business or just out to escape. Same here. Nothing like a business trip paid in full. Especially when there's 
good downtime. That would be Infinity LTD. Can I back out of this? Can't. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. A cheap version of Rage and Industries. I mean, why is this light blue? I've never seen a light blue one. Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. I believed our team had thoroughly researched infinity. But your comment gives me pause. Yeah, looking at the dossier, at the bottom there's talking points. So she says cheap version. Cheap is definitely good. Infinity is a follower, not a leader. Lacks clear vision. Their instability was cited as a pain point, but one we could deal with as long as we maintained control of all joint projects. However, upheaval always comes with its own series of issues, delays, morale, public perception, and Drexler has yet to prove he can provide the consistency that I would prefer. Perhaps it really is more than I'm willing to undertake. A surprising conversation, and one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. No problem, you can hire me. The old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So, it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. Sweet. Okay, while well, we hit all the right answers, quick save and make our way up to the other dude. Okay, let's do a quick save here. All right, we got this. and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Well, I take that as a compliment, coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself. You either got great taste or great connections, maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Yeah, there we go. Not something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. Uh, profits are fabricated. That's an awfully big claim to make. You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. Compare profits are 25% higher. Infinity spends most of their fiscal year in the red. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. Look, it was nice meeting you, and I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around. And maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Hey, and now we've got to switch her presentation. Hamza kept pestering me about his damn missing slate. Like security's got time to track something like that down. Hey, let's do another quick save. Oh, 
Not this one. That one's definitely there, but in the next layer down. Wait, what? So if this is that one... Oh, one of them's not right. There we go. Let's find out why this was locked. We detected by. Well, these VIP booths don't have credits laying around. Hey, we'll go talk to Imogen. These guys boogieing down. Yeah, this video is going to be a little bit longer than usual. Not too much. I do want to hand this in though. Yeah. There's Seaguard's outfitters. We went to that competition earlier. I like the dragon. You in a buying mood today? That looks pretty sick. Wasn't too bad, was it? Cake. You're a natural, and I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. Whoa, bonus for being a decent person? You definitely didn't pick that up at Ryujin. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. 10,000, wow. That was awesome. Your next assignment is to remind a competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. 
Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. We'll get the job done. Good. All you need to do is plant the ARC on the service panel of your target. We can handle the rest from here. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. The key is to make this look like a malfunction. And good luck. Keep it up, and you'll probably have my job soon. Okay, well, we are going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. I didn't realize my mouse was showing up on the... That's my mouse. I'm playing on, on PC realize it was showing up on the screen I don't know why shouldn't because I have my mouse locked to my anyway whatever catch you in the next <laughs>